10 Unbelievable SpaceX Failures Launching rockets is difficult. Most of the time we get it right, but unexpected events do occur. It could be due to a stage failure or the use of a daring prototype, such as SpaceX's Starship. However, as tragic as failure can be, it can also help the teams behind these launches learn and evolve, allowing them to continue to enhance spaceflight. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about 10 unbelievable SpaceX failures. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10. Starship SN4 Prototype Explosion In May, SpaceX's Starship SN4 prototype burst in a stunning blaze. The explosion occurred approximately one minute after the Raptor rocket engine was tested. However, SN4 had already completed four static fire engine tests and only encountered issues on the fifth, making it the longest-lived and most tested Starship at the time. The early testing on SN4 was intended to aid in the eventual flight readiness of Starship, which gained significance in the spring when NASA chose Starship as one of the spacecraft to land people on the moon, as part of the agency's Artemis program. Number 9. Starship SN7 Prototype Explosion Additionally, the subsequent Starship prototype, which was designated as SN7, ruptured during a pressure test in the month of June. This explosion was intentional, as SpaceX was testing the limitations of the fuel tank. A super-chilled liquid nitrogen was poured into the tank until it reached its maximum capacity, at which point, it abruptly burst. Due to the fact that it generates concrete data on the maximum amount of force that may be applied to the vehicle during normal operations, the spacecraft and aerospace industry often engages in the practice of purposefully pushing components to their breaking point. This kind of testing reduces the number of failures that occur over time and increases the level of safety. Number 8. Starship SN8 Prototype Explosion In December, the next and final Starship prototype of the year 2020, which was given the designation SN8, took to the air for a few minutes before flipping over and finally exploding upon landing. Despite the fact that the prototype was unable to successfully land, it was able to survive a number of airborne maneuvers, including a belly flop that is comparable to what Starship will perform during operational flights. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, looked to be overjoyed with the progress that has been made on the prototype, tweeting, Mars, here we come. Number 7. Northrop Grumman Omega Cancellation At the beginning of February, Northrop Grumman was still working on testing and firing its new Omega rocket. However, it was not anticipated that the program would continue throughout the year. After the United States Space Force did not include Omega on its list of potential national security launch contractors, the company made the decision not to press forward with the venture, as reported by Florida Today. In spite of the fact that the Omega program has been discontinued, Northrop Grumman intends to apply the knowledge gained from this initiative to other aspects of the company's operations and business branches. Number 6. Iran's Zafar-1 As a result of a rocket malfunction that occurred during the launch in February, the Iranian communications satellite known as Zafar-1 did not make it into orbit. In an interview with Iranian state television, Defense Ministry Space Program spokesman Ahmad Hosseini stated that the first stage of the launch onboard the Simorg rocket went according to schedule. However, the satellite did not gather up enough speed to reach orbit, as reported by the Associated Press. Iran has been dealing with a number of rocket failures prior to this one including a launch failure of the Simorg rocket in January 2019, and another rocket failure, the Safir, in February 2019. According to satellite imagery obtained by Planet, a business based in San Francisco, it appears that another rocket launched from Iran burst in the month of August 2019. Number 5. China Long March Rocket Failures During the launch of the Long March rockets in the year 2020, at least two of China's long-running rockets failed the test. Within the month of March, there was a launch failure that occurred with a new version of the rocket known as Long March 7A. This rocket was attempting to make its debut. Several weeks later, in the month of April, an Indonesian satellite was not successfully launched by a rocket that was part of the Long March 3B booster series. China did continue to be busy with launches during the majority of the year 2020, despite these setbacks. Number 4. China's Kuaizhou Rocket Failures In the year 2020, 
the Kuaizhou rocket from China saw two unsuccessful launches. The first issue occurred in July, when a Kuaizhou 11 rocket, which was traveling on the very first flight ever for that particular type of rocket, failed to launch and separate its first and second stages, despite the fact that it appeared to have been successful. It was reported by Space News that a Kuaizhou 1A rocket also encountered an issue during the launch process later in the month of September. In both instances, China made a brief public acknowledgement of the failure and stated that an investigation would be conducted to determine the cause. Number 3. Virgin Orbit's Launcher 1 There was an issue that occurred during the test flight of the Launcher 1 rocket that was conducted by Virgin Orbit in May. The rocket was unable to be released from its carrier plane. Before sending the rocket on an unsuccessful attempt to take a dummy payload to low Earth orbit, the business, which is based in California, successfully demonstrated its capability to execute multiple test flights. In a later statement, Virgin Orbit stated that the issue was caused by an anomaly in the Newton 3 engine of Launcher 1. The mission has been delayed indefinitely from its launch date in December due to the coronavirus epidemic, which has reduced staffing levels, according to a statement that was posted on Twitter by Virgin Orbit in December. The next test launch, which will be termed Demo 2, will transport 10 CubeSats into the air. Number 2. Rocket Lab's Electron In July, the Business Rocket Lab, which is based in New Zealand, experienced difficulty with the second stage of an Electron rocket, which resulted in the loss of all seven of the small satellites that were aboard the rocket. Rocket Lab completed its research within a few weeks, and stated that the incident occurred as a result of a single broken electrical connection in the upper stage of the rocket. The corporation was able to recover and successfully complete four additional launches in the year 2020. The year came to a close with the launch of a Japanese Earth imaging satellite in December. Number 1. Starship SN3 Prototype Explosion The Starship SN3 that is operated by SpaceX was expected to carry out a series of experiments in the spring, the culmination of which would be brief, hopping test flights. On the other hand, the prototype exploded as a result of a fault that occurred during one of the tests in April. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, speculated at the time that the failure of the cryogenic pressure test, which was performed on the vehicle, could have been the result of a test configuration mistake, which was later determined to be leaky valves. To determine whether or not SN3 could resist the extreme pressure of super-cold fuel that would be required to send it on flights, SpaceX wanted to test it. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.